So, let me guess, you're still hoping to buy an RTX 30 series graphics card. How cute. Don't worry, most of us have given up hope to buy one, and instead we're looking towards the future, because the RTX 40 series is supposedly right around the corner, based on a brand new Lovelace architecture. No, not that Lovelace, this Lovelace, Ada Lovelace, a mathematician whose work helped create some of the very first computers ever. But obviously computers have got a lot more advanced since then, and these are supposed to be some of the most advanced GPUs us consumers could ever get our hands on. Seeing how one of these cubes, according to rumors, is going to cross the 100 teraflops milestone. Yeah, for comparison, the RTX 3090 Ti, which hasn't even released yet, is only supposed to get around 40. That's a pretty big improvement! Yes, it is all rumor and speculation, but it shows exactly how advanced this new architecture could be, and we could be seeing a improvement in performance similar to the giant leap that was 30 series over 20 series. So when you get your hands on these cards, you can be set for a pretty big increase in performance even over 30 series, if you're one of the lucky few to even have a 30 series card. So when exactly are these cards launching? Well, most likely second half of this year, and we'll be most likely getting a 4090, 4080 and 4070 releasing sometime in November, December just in time for those Christmas sales. So a similar thing to what Nvidia did with the RTX 30 series, though hopefully the launch is less of a disaster. So as long as people can actually get their hands on these cards, everything should go fine, right? Well, no, because there are a few things that are making people worried, primarily the price, seeing how cards are getting way more expensive, even at MSRP, and also secondly, well, how much more powerful can cards get without them turning into space heaters? But thankfully, those things shouldn't be that big of a worry. Starting off the temperature issues, those should be mainly solved with the fact that these brand new cards will be running on TSMC's 5 nanometer process. Now, historically, moving to a smaller node size has meant a lower TDP, for the chip, though paradoxically, chip designers just took that as an excuse to instead increase the power draw of the chip, thus making it perform way better, but also getting a lot harder. So these things should kind of balance themselves out, but seeing how the RTX 3090 Ti Kingpin Edition can suck back apparently up to a thousand watts of power, well, we'll see exactly how well Nvidia can balance this whole power issue next generation on a much smaller node. Though thankfully also graphic card coolers are getting way more efficient and cases are also being built in a way now to allow even more airflow to go directly to the GPU. Plus, just in time, high watch PSUs are also becoming way cheaper and way more common. It kind of makes you think if Nvidia and AMD are making their cards so power hungry just to satisfy the PSU Mafia. Or maybe Nvidia are the PSU Mafia and they're doing it just to line the pockets at the PSU manufacturers which are in debt to themselves. Uh, I think I've been seeing too many conspiracy theories online recently. And pricing wise, yes, prices have gone up and inflation is a thing and their materials are getting way more expensive, but at the same time, even though NVIDIA do have a monopoly on GPUs pretty much, that doesn't mean they can just charge whatever, because people would simply just not buy these cards. And even last generation, even though they didn't have too much competition from AMD, what they did is they created the RTX 3080, which had almost double the performance of a 2080 Ti, but a much lower price. So that made them look like a good guy, while still giving people what looked like a better deal. So Nvidia could do a pretty similar thing now, they could have say the RTX 4080 be a lot more powerful than the 3080 Ti or the 3080 while also costing way less. So they could seem like the good guys and have prices look like they're dropping even if the RTX 4090 will be, I don't know, $2000 plus for all we know at MSRP. But let me know what you think of all of this and if you're excited for these brand new Lovelace based cards down in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And if you like this video and you want to help support this channel so I can make more awesome videos for you guys then the best way of doing that is to support our channel on Patreon. Because even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way while well, you get awesome benefits with it. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Kevin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, Common Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herberman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down there, you're also going to find our merch store if you're in the house world channel that way. Plus, and there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.